touch up all Olympics. Why don't we get into it? Sure. Tokyo Olympics opening draws, 16.7 million U.S. TV viewers, 33-year low. That's pretty low, by the way, to say 33-year low. That's a long time. NBC broadcasted Tokyo Olympics opening uh, ceremony draw only 16.7 million viewers, the smallest U.S. television audience for the last 33 years. Uh, uh, it declined 37% from 2016 when 26.5 million people watched the Rio de Janeiro Games open and 59% down from 2012 when 40.7 million people watched the London ceremony. It was the lowest audience for the opening since 1980 at Seoul Games, which attracted 22.7 million TV viewers. NBC Universal, which paid $7.65 billion to extend its U.S. broadcast rights for the Olympics through 2032 plans to air an unprecedented seven hours of Olympic coverage across uh, multiple television networks and Peacock streaming services Oops. is what they're saying. So. Uh, what are your thoughts about that for being that? What is the reason for it? When you watch some of these matches, there's nobody in the audience. Is it because of COVID? Is it a lack of interest? Is it <laughs> no attendance? You're saying within Japan uh, yeah, why because are, of COVID. Why is the TV viewership in U.S. so low? Well, you know, they say when you lose one sense, the other senses get you know stronger. If you lose your sense of sight, your sense of, of hearing gets stronger. Well, when the rich lost their sense of humor, their, their sense of self-importance got stronger. And this is just nonstop preaching. It's not. There's nothing fun about any of this. Have you watched any of this? There's nothing fun. There's no more fun in sports. There's no more fun in television. Like even in the even in the NFL draft. Did you watch the NFL draft? It was not what this kid did in college. It was well, he comes from the poorest neighborhood in the poorest state, and his mother had 18 jobs a day. And it's, it's okay. You can root for this kid. He's not <laughs> one of these rich kids. It's okay. It's it's okay. He's going to be a multimillionaire in the NFL. They're doing the same thing. They're like, I don't care how bad everybody had it. I care. Are you awesome at your sport? I I, I came here to see excellence. I came mm -hmm. here to see absolute the pinnacle of human achievement. And politics have just infiltrated this entire thing. There are are judokas like my. my my father was an Olympic alternate in judo. I watched judo. All right. I like judo. I was a judoka. And these dudes won't fight the Israeli champion. They won't, they're literally pulling out of the Olympics because they refuse for political reasons to get in the ring. I won't, I won't touch that what Israeli. Country? It was uh, the first one was I think I don't I don't want to get it wrong I believe it was Azerbaijan and Algeria are those the two I don't want to get it wrong but they, they literally pulled out because they they wouldn't stand on the same mat with an Israeli and the, the, the whole Can you pull point, up that story Kai the whole point of the Olympics by the way for people that know the history of the Olympics it came together as the it was the original United Nations in Greece there were so many warring city states that they were like look instead of us killing tens of thousands of each other like every year why don't we just have these games and we'll wrestle naked and we'll meet each other have some wine that's it'll be what cool. needs to be told what you just did is what needs to mm -hmm. be told what you just did is what needs to be told the yeah. wrestling naked part no that's the part that's no, a, it's, no, no. it's what, just a lot of eye contact needs, the coming what, together yeah. part yes what no what no no not the eye coming contact. together part. what needs to be told is when a marriage is in a bad place you have to remind them why did you guys date in the first place mm -hmm. what brought you guys together there is a right before divorce that's a conversation america needs to know history of why olympics is the Olympics. So is this one you're talking about? A, a uh, second judoka pulls out of the Olympics and apparently moved to avoid facing Israeli Sudan's Mohammed Ab Dal Rasul skips bout with Tohar Batpul, who wins next fight uh, but loses medal chance later. Athlete is a no-show despite Khartoum signing Abraham Accords with Israel. A second, I'm going to go a little lower. Suspended for doing the same. But ball was listed as no competitor in the list. Marks 73. Cameron Olympic official said Alonso didn't show up to face Wilda in their route despite weighing in the bout early. International Judo Federation didn't immediately announce the reason for what I'm saying. Give me a response. Okay, so, you know, Here's again, my question. Yeah. Is that his decision or are there people behind the That's scenes a good point. pulling strings That's being a good like, point. That's a good question. there's no way we can have one of our athletes lose to an Israeli or even You're fight right. the Israeli. So it's not a good look for us. So You're we're right. going to make a political stance here and we're not going to fight. This guy's been training his whole life. Now he's about to win the gold. They're like, sorry, buddy, have a seat. What? But take that exactly what you said mm -hmm. is right. Now extrapolate that out. Right, you think you think so multiple sports. Yeah, right. like do you think LeBron James is coming up with like with Minister Farrakhan's words on his own, or do you think somebody from the Nation of Islam is like, you know what, you should say something like this? Like these people have infiltrated the highest mm -hmm. levels of our culture. You think Simone Biles is backing out because the the you know the gymnastics aspect of this is the pressure mm -hmm. she can't handle? Of course it's not. She's the best gymnast possibly of all time. This is second hat to her. It's probably what she loves more than anything in the world. The pressure of being pulled in different directions by yeah. these incredibly powerful 
of people is what she's going like, you know what? Screw it. I'm not here to be your mascot. I'm not here to be the mascot of your social action. I'm not here to be the mascot of this side or that side. I just want to perform. And these dudes out here, they, 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 again, four years of competition to Mm -hmm. get to the highest level. And now you have somebody and because of political differences, you're not going to compete. But but why why is, why is, why is guys, why is viewership down? Why is viewership in U.S. down? That's uh, look. I think a part of it is, you know, people just like you said about the NBA. Why was the viewer viewership uh, viewership up? They took all the political stuff away from it. They said, "Listen, just come here and enjoy sports, right?" I think that's obviously a factor here in the Olympics, yeah. and I think also a part of it. We all feel for the athletes. We're all rooting for the athletes. Sure. I think lingering. Maybe this is for me. This is my opinion. I'm not that interested in the Olympics for whatever reason. Because I think that the committees and whoever's putting everything together is just corrupt. When I think of the Olympics, I think Stop of corruption. Oh my I do. Gosh. How do these countries get it? Oh they bu- my gosh. Listen, you hear these stories mm-hmm. about China building these ridiculous stadiums, and then after the Olympics, they're gone. You they, think they don't even the use them anymore. The average person in America is not watching Olympics because they think the judges are corrupt. I, 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 didn't, say, I didn't say judges. I, agree, I said I agree the with- overall Olympic committees. The selection, the way that they pick the cities, what does that have the to do doping. With I'm just saying. Occam's I, Razor. I just think it's not fun anymore. They don't know how to create fun like products. So I don't. Know. I don't know. I have my. Okay. You so, don't think the Olympics so, is corrupt guys, at all? Uh, the audience. By the way, I want actually hear you guys. Why do you, oh, Kai? Why do you think? I want to know if you guys. Do you guys have any opinions on this or not at all? It has to be. If you have, if it's different than what they said, say it. If not, I have. I have one. I think um, a big one is obviously what you guys have mentioned uh, in terms of that. Second one is the fact that. The whole last year, is it happening? Is it not? Oh, shit, it happens tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Wait, it actually started. Okay, so I think okay. that so is a big part. Oh, so scheduling. There. Yes. Okay, I think yeah. scheduling. Not enough good marketing. Yes. Fair. And just confusion okay. of, like, because I saw I'll articles still the week of, it could still be canceled. Like, all right, is it going on? Is it not? Fair. Other part, yep. second part, which also I think is a big part, uh, they're cur- Japan is currently 13 hours ahead, so... The schedule, they're competing in the middle of the night. So Yeah, but China was the same. Yeah, they, yeah, back, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's that, not, that's not as yeah. big. But I think the biggest one is the fact yeah. that they were, uh, like, is it happening? Is it being canceled? Is okay, it what do you guys like think? That? Anything different or no? David? Uh, I just, yeah, I never really had much interest in the Olympics. I think it's a historic event. So then it's a no-brainer for you. Like, it's a yeah. no, non-issue for you. Like, who cares? Okay. Yeah, even the soccer. Let me, let me I will say, you, as it gets down to more of the finals... Yeah. Viewership's going to go The Kabuki oh, that's Theater the point, does bother though. me, too. That's the Kabuki not- Theater bothers me, where it's like, okay, everybody's wearing a mask, but then the mask is down over here, and then now they got to go compete face-to-face with each other. It's like, it's, it's just too much, like, safety theater for me. I, just, I, I don't feel like I'm watching a competition. I feel like I'm watching propaganda. I'm trying to see if that's how the average viewer feels the way you do. So there is how I feel. There's how you feel. Then there's... The average American that's like just not watching it. Why? So you're saying because of the committee. You're saying because of the, you know, it's not fun anymore. It's just too politicized. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.